All right, we started with Richard Lazy Gits here at Off the Ball, and we're going to do the Bowlands BMW uh, Triathlon here at Dunmore East, and that's exactly June 15th. Why we're here, we've just registered. Everybody's feeling a bit nervous. It all, uh, it all basically comes down to own cheat. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. He is the key to all this. Yeah. If he doesn't build up a big lead, I've been, we're uh, I've been on the cop bottle all night. <laughs> may, may or may <laughs> not <laughs> have uh, extreme uh, performance enhancement benefits, so we'll see how that goes later on. This is the first time we've stood in our two collective teams, actually. Yeah. And now I'm making them slight favourites. Ah. Oh. <laughs> sporting occasion, see people at the peak of their power, elite athletes. I've never seen anyone as nervous in my life as Owen Sheehan has been for the last 24 hours. I'm going to get beaten by a middle-aged man here today and it's going to be severely damaging to my reputation, to my self-esteem and I may never see anybody ever again after this. That is what's on the line here today. Give it a talk, buddy. Go on, out. Where's the camera? How was that? That was the I need a minute. It was hard going out because you were against the wind and against the um, the waves coming in. And the first boy, I remember like thinking, oh, I'm getting pretty close to it. And it just like it just went on forever. And then uh, coming in was a bit easier. Like I was okay, the run was really tough. Like I couldn't, I didn't feel, I felt much worse the second I got into the water. When you're in the water, you've no choice but to kind of swim, because otherwise, you know. And just when I got to the beach, I suddenly just, it was like marathon runner jelly legs. Three minute difference. Three minutes to make up. Woo! Woo That's enough. Look at the The sighting was a tough, that, that I was, Zigzagging, I was over here. Yeah, I could start going with people that way. Yeah, because when the waves come up, you can't see the boy. Yeah, and then started going in the other way. So I was like properly in the other way with some other people. And to be honest, I, even out there, at no point did I feel I'm not gonna the swim was going to get the better of me. fine with that. Then this fella passed me out and passed about 40 people out. Joe came in dying and then Adrian came in just two minutes behind him so at that point it was like, game on. Yeah. I'm sorry to around. all my fans out there for letting you down. Lads, good performance. We overestimated Owen's ability massively. Uh, so what do you hang on against them? Well, if I had something to hang on to, we'd put him in. <laughs> we'll, we'll never know. The two lads got out of the water. Joe was three minutes up and Adrian. Three minutes? That's so, not bad. I, I really want to ask Nathan, what was he thinking when he saw Jer coming around the corner first? <laughs> that is a disgrace. Listen, I think this is the first time we've actually ever followed through on an athletic endeavour on Off The Ball, so... What was it? You, you, you insisted at one point that we should all put 100 euro down for charity. Yes, that the, yes, uh, he the did. Losing I just remembered. would pay 100 oh, euro. Oh, big red strikes again! Were you, were you, were you, were you even aware of it? No. no. Well, talk to... Uh, talk <laughs> to and, team Oshie was sitting in the studio and the look in his face at the time should have made me realise what was to come. I told you. Told you. Uh, I wasn't ready for that cycle. I apologise to my family, as I've already done. I apologise to all my supporters. I've let you all down. Anybody who put money on me today, I know there was a sizable black market going. And I apologise to all my fellow dopers. It clearly doesn't work to be on the cough bucket going into uh, the, this race. So, sorry to you all. 
Yeah. Everybody who wrote on that uh, whiteboard, I want a word with every single one of you. We're all idiots. Don't <laughs> ever set you up for something like that again. It's your fault, not mine. Nothing is underlined more that we're not proper triathletes in this conversation because everybody else here is incredibly supportive of each other. Yeah, it's <laughs> and urges each other on. <laughs> like and when I was we're slowing like, down, there was a couple of people go on, a little nudge on the back, and when people were struggling, you could tell they were talking to them and trying to get them up for the last couple of kilometers. <laughs> not us. Not us. Have Maybe that's be. where the problem was. Yeah, especially going up the hill. Come on, keep going. I was like, we don't actually need to start. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> God, well, that I guy was like, fresh. I was like, yeah, yeah. Thanks for like, the encouragement. Oh, oh, the swim really took it out of me. <laughs> Still recovering from the swim. The way we've done this, it's not actually that hard to do. No. Like, it really didn't take that much out of us to. No. You just have to go out and do a little well, bit of your practice. Your may never recover. Is <laughs> the one thing you would say. Age is catching up with me. I realised that the last run I did was five years ago. A lot has changed in those five years. I feel your pain. I hate when age catches up on you. It's such a terrible thing. <laughs> well, what, what are you going to age, do? Like age did catch up to you and passed you, you by. <laughs> I think next year we need to do musical chairs and we just need to swap disciplines. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to run. That's uh, Well, you've got to run or swim to pick from. What would you do if we did it next year? Run. I'd love to do the swim again. Cycle. I'd love to